Hello everybody, this is Kata. We have TSDL Season 7, Round of 32. Penquin vs. Chung Smile. Although I'll just be saying Chung. <clears throat> Looking at Tenquin's box. Pretty much all the meta assassins these days. Epsilon, Werner, Sherry, Kira. The Aris to supplement this single target line. Prisha, generally good unit, wet him, and then Luin and Burn. His bulky units that are difficult for assassins to deal with. Chung, on the other hand, definitely running a box that leans more towards AoE. Units like Himiko, Kruger, Helena. I mean, Helena can function as a single target zoner, but a lot of her value in a combo versus tank composition depends on the AoE, whether or not she can snipe stuff with that. Of course, a lot of value also comes in from zoning. But we have first pick Himiko. AoE is a pretty effective means of dealing with Epsilon. Rosin was first banned, pushing Tenquin towards picking a healer. Thrachia is the least durable healer towards AoE and most limited by cooldowns as well compared to Liana and Rosin, which does make Thrachia less effective against AoE strategies. Regardless, Lucretia first ban means at least one AoE is removed, and Kruger second ban is also removing one of the big AoEs. The most straightforward AoE left in this box combo with Himiko. Juggler, as well, could be a threat. Bernhard and Juggler getting banned. Juggler, when you're playing AoE, <coughs> makes sense. Bernhard, as well, he's difficult to remove, he's bulky, so he's also a buff for Florentia here. Tung wants to try and limit Florentia's stacks. He just getting banned. Tenquin may have been looking more for an off tank strategy. Might see Christian here. And it is Christian into Elwyn. Not her best matchup. Tenquin targeting the assassins. So there's just Kira and Sherry left. Could see Chung want to pick one. Could see Chung pick one here. I think Barry would probably have some more plays here. Stun on Christian potentially. Barry is also durable. That's one of Kira's issues against Epsilon is that once he reaches. Pretty easy for Epsilon to one-shot, and there's a lot of time Kira won't really be able to kill the Epsilon. Although with AoE from Himiko, that does become easier. Especially if with another AoE, Ares could also be picked up here. Fans out, a difficult unit, two difficult units to remove basically, and an assassin. So well, there is already Epsilon on Tenquin's side. <coughs> Ham's also a good pickup. Could supplement AoE or go single target. Heal reversal on the Christie. Could get through her eventually. Like going with Ham, heal reversal, and then Elwyn could probably scoop up killing Christie. Lucretia is a difficult unit to remove. Could bring an AoE to poke Jung's comp here. Action buff's already pretty covered, although Kira could get picked up here. Jerry will be difficult for Epsilon to kill without stacks, although if Tiaris gets picked, which she doesn't, Tiaris would have made that kill a lot easier.
So it does look like Chung has a pretty good AoE combo if he goes for it between the Himiko, the Wedum, and the Helena. Lead in with the Wedum and Heal Block. And then the next two after that could wipe out a sizable amount of Tenkwen Doom. If there is a cure to prevent that, plus zone a bit, there's a Christian preventing just YOLO single target jumps. At best, there is a stun play from Sherry onto Christian. Once Christian is stunned, a lot of these other single target units can definitely play. I mean, Florentia could technically counter that with Mass Resist, but she does not really have the skill slots. She really needs AoE healing here. Lucretia could be Gift of Eternal Life. Lewin wouldn't have been great in this endgame against two mages, potentially. I can understand that. Yaris would have been pretty rough to give this comp to, and Christy could very well be in danger. Really, she already is, it's just a question of how effectively can the trades on Chunk's side go. Christy will certainly be running Phalanx here. Owen could tech. Elena could tech Highlands too. Blue and Mega Dead to Luke 3C, yeah, he just was not a good pickup. Yaris could have been good. I do like just the idea of securing kills. I guess Luke should... Well, I mean, yeah, Luke should probably bring Firebrands. Yeah, and she did. Needs new armor or A-list proc, yeah. And OLB would be nice to ensure it as well. Brings a mass attack for Kiera here. And does bring the 2C on Kira that heals, which, I mean, there's no tank here, so that's a fine choice. But him did opt to go single target, just fine. Himiko with push. Ceiling technique could have been really nice here, but it's okay. Push is good too. A bit less effective on a map like this, but it depends on where you can push them from. Just a bit harder in the center, because you can prevent pushes out of it pretty effectively. Very kind of needs angels if she wants to really tank. Although, Shung's side does have the range advantage here, so he should be able to take the initiative. But still, uh, Sherry could raid something and then stun the tank. Or. stun the tank and then raid something. Lorenzo has Bracer, so she wouldn't be able to kill that. Could take the Puppet, as always. Because once the tank is stunned, that's when Wedum, Elwen, and Helena can all jump in. Start taking out Tanquin's squishier units. Fibrands on Luke are a really good choice, both to deal with. I mean, Helena was probably gonna run Angels, Sherry was probably gonna run Angels, Wedum on this map usually will run Gargoyles rather than Werewolves. The Himiko potentially softening up this team will be big. It could come down to whether or not she clocks a lot. I suppose she only gets a couple actions for free.
this is usually a good position to move your Himiko up to, because if you want, you can reach this tile. And then your AoE range is all of this, which is pretty much their entire opening field. So you'll at least get that AoE for free, which fades out one cooldown. Plus applies just the Ninjutsu debuff, steals their setup, and then you can just play back until Himiko has stuff up again as the team with the better range here. There is flow. Sorta uh, does reach there, but is guarded. Probably not much reason to engage with Wedum. Freeze is pretty nice. The Helena pretty much reaches right now. Puppet is staying back as it should be. The puppet's the real valuable target with Lucretia. Looks like, uh. Doesn't reach anything just yet. But it's threatening, Sherry. If trading a trading puppet for a life in this scenario is probably a great idea, especially if it's Sherry. Because that's the prob that's the scariest thing that lets them really easily get around Christy is the stun play. There are other ways to mitigate it, like you can position in such a way that Sherry doesn't get the act again. She at least doesn't get two things. So, um... Yeah, Sherry's just kind of going for it, hoping that she can tank this Lucretia. Which with Christy buff, I would say probably not. Yeah, that's a pretty easy kill for Luke. She scoops that up for free because the puppet just swaps her back into safety. Probably would have been better to just keep Sherry like one out of Lucretia's range, although the puppet still could have swapped. But then, I mean, it's not a free trade. The puppet could have swapped her out there to reach a bit farther. Hey, it's an uphill battle for Chung now. Good damage, but Gira just Taps the Himiko, pretty much just purges most of the stuff off, heals it up, gets rid of Himiko's talent, so she did clock. She'll get... she can't quite reach the same... the teleport over here if she gets it. Now she can only reach here. Still does reach everybody, and now doesn't hit Kira, which isn't a bit nice. Honestly, it might have been nicer to just... Yeah, not hit here at all. 
Or Kira can probably just stay there so she doesn't get hit. Yeah. It is noted that it is Twilight Star Kira. It does have some worse matchups compared to True Cross. Particularly AoE stuff like Bothel. Could make whops in your box and take advantage of that. Now let him go then. He will heal reverse the Chris, so Bell in reach. No, he does not. There's no real follow up. Flo can act again. Pretty much burn off the hero reverse reversal immediately. Because Christy has not moved yet. does a reach though. So there is that. Probably her AoEs after not enough to kill Christy. Should have taken the heart of Gaia from Bernie. Part of Guy on Christie seems a bit, uh, a bit more rough. But, I mean, I guess, hey, if people run Overlord's badge, Christie. Still, Overlord's badge is HP based, which is really nice. Say Heart of Guy is better than Overlord's badge right now. You know, you might be right. Yeah, because there's other ways to handle debuffers. Yeah, yeah, no, I know what you mean for Christy. He was safe from nothing. It's just hard to uh, go into this comp and trade. If Sherry was alive, I can definitely see it working out. But it was all, I guess it was always going to be hard for Sherry to be able to get a range with no tank. Kills the puppet, which does reduce Luke's effectiveness by a lot. But, I mean, you kind of just heal Luke up and then kill the Helena, right? Fun should probably do it. The Sherry move kind of killed it, yeah. It's going to be really hard to win from that point on.
Yeah, you get one life on Christy here, but then there's just no follow-up. Yeah, GG. Yeah, I think Chung just played it a bit too fast. Could have definitely postured and positioned some more. Firebrands on Luke was just a really good choice. It's pretty damn hard for Sherry to tank that, and she's probably just not gonna tank that if there's a Christy buff on that Luke. Yeah, big guy. I gotta think of more games, and it just came to mind in conversation. Himiko would have been a much better open. Yeah, remove some buffs. Plus, he has to. Well, didn't he? He did open with Himiko, didn't he? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. Probably just, I mean, I think the main issue was that just most of Chung's units weren't in range. I think it's fine to open up with Himiko there and remove some buffs, put some Nijutsu debuffs on them, just be a little annoying, Himiko teleports back, and then just wait for Fog to push Ken Quinn's team up a bit closer. Because once everything is in range, there's definitely ways to get through Christy. Yeah. Himigo is pretty much always good at opening. Some swaps. I think we're looking like he's going a stallier style. Chung as well, a little bit. Bringing in Bird and Werner. Dropping Ares. It was pretty much here to just AoE combo mostly, and maybe be a single target check on Ellen or something. Dog pretty much just against AoE, and from what Tenquin has brought, there wasn't too much AoE, so Chung felt like something like Werner to assassinate stuff could be better. Yeah, um, Tenquin bringing in Oldius, who's a buffer Kira, plus good at pushing people away, preventing some terrain masters. There's, there's a decent amount in Chung's box, and bringing in Werner also is another one of those. So, Oldius can shut down, or at least make it a lot harder for several of these units to move. And Tankwin choosing to first pick Bogle, which is good against. I mean, it's good against Kruger. And uh, now Tankwin is forced into Juggler against Ellen. Or could pick Oldius, I guess, but no, Tenquin picks up Juggler. And this is starting to look a little dicey for Tenquin already. But it is Rosin. Rosin will prevent the heal block. There's some water in the center of the map. Although, again, it looks like Chung's team is probably going to end up with the range advantage here.
Um, but with Stone Colossus, then um, something like Kira starts becoming one of the bigger threats here, and Ham too. Like Ham plus Elwin and that dog does not seem like he's going to be able to survive. Yeah, Luke is a good check on Elwin. It's just really good at getting those counter engages and sniping some key units just with puppet breezes all that shenanigans if you have to engage with multiple units that's a win for Tenquin yeah yeah you're right it does it should be difficult for Sherry to get a double strike. And now we have three Terrain Masters. Yeah, with Chung's box, it doesn't look like he needs to- he needs to explicitly ban Hilda. There's plenty of ways to get around her. Or even just ways to deal with her. But Odeus will stop, will definitely make it really hard for a lot of these units to move. They're all Terrain Master. But yeah, Tenquin's really passive. t Jess would be like the best DPS he could pick up here. Well, Sherry's good too. t Jess or Sherry, what you want to see. Probably Sherry, because t Jess is going to be kind of food for that Werner. Yeah, definitely a slow push box. Turns out the Kruger just probably for buff stripping and such. Then Kira just because she can assassinate stuff. Good combo against the dog too. Lewin with five buff dispel is pretty annoying. Plus his tiles will also be annoying could enable some kills with raid especially as units die because sherry should be having ellen 3c although ellen doesn't necessarily have to bring 3c and i probably would yeah he lifts pretty much food for werner tiaris can maybe tank with bolt rangers but does tiaris do a lot for this team Checking out Polena. Lewin felt a lot more effective. Tiaras gets picked up. Yeah, Sherry is a lot more. Sherry definitely has a lot more potential with it. Like, Raid could do a lot with it. I mean, you should have Miracle with it too, and you don't have to burn 3C because Tiaras could just bring Attack Blessing. Although she probably wants to bring Miracle here, just to help. Well, I mean, the Himiko AoEs are not going to do much. Oldius probably... Yeah, this is uh, the Great Ace Attorney soundtrack. The first game. Um, Oldius probably wants to bring Light right here. But his buff is nice, but I don't know. I mean, it just gets stripped, right? At least on Jug. I guess Rosin does like a little bit more healing output, but there should already be plenty of heals. Yeah, second game OST will slap harder, but we'll have to get to the second OST in um two hours. <laughs> I do agree, though, especially like the remixes of the themes. Yeah, apparently uh, the Great Ace Attorney soundtrack is two hours. Two and a half. But it's already been like 30 minutes. Frank's 3C. Twilight Star L1 is 
what it looks like. Could be scary. Odia Springs buff. Everything else is as you'd expect. Try to bring griffins instead of angels. Doesn't expect to need the additional tankiness, so she's going for a bit more damage. Damn bike man and his loud ass motorcycle thing. Yeah, Werner wants to spend also Blood Pack Juggler. Werner wants to spend some time stacking up his 3C usually before he goes in. With buff on Oldius, it will not really prevent like without light array. It's a lot harder to just casually prevent them from coming in, although can just drop 3C. Usually not the worst thing if it at least prevents some stuff and you have a potential to clock. Although you might need to use it without any potential to clock sometimes. The Sherry didn't breathe, so the follow-up is not quite there. It's also Highland Warrior Helena. So she also needs some time to put up some crystals, get her into effective range. Penguin probably looking to move everybody. Have Rosin move last, and then you put up Mass Crystal Healing. With Werner here, you think Ellen could have afforded stealing? It's a bit difficult for Ellen to move through the center of the map with Steel Wing. But there is not too much offensive pressure from Tanquen. You just have to mine the Sherry, who did breeze. And could, well yeah, just breeze. That one could posture like there, and yeah, just with the being able to carry over the Werner buffs, probably reach whatever, even with Steel Wings, I see your point. Yeah, even there is fine. So now Pimico goes in and does 3C, it's not going to accomplish much. One potential risk is Jug 3C and Oldius 3C potentially killing the Himiko. You just don't tap her after she goes in, because she might have Bonnet, and then that could give her a heal. It is Miracle. No buffs on the Himiko. But it is Blood Pack Dog, so quite a bit less defensive stats than one would normally have. So a lot less damage as well. Could be close. No rights as well, though it could even be a Battle Garb, or Shimmering Battle Garb, or whatever Himiko. Himiko has new armor, should survive two AoEs, you'd think? Yeah, probably. I mean, if you think about it, if it, like, lets you survive two AoEs, it basically had the same effect as last rites. Although it might work on troops. Don't know.
So both players pretty much zone in the... Yeah, with new armor you're more free to 1c. just doesn't accomplish too much. Could wait for Mass Crystal Healing to be down, there'd be one turn in between that, although Rosalind has Miracle, they're spawning Miracles down, and then there'll probably be, I think there's pretty much always Miracle up with Tiaris and Rosalind trading off at certain points, maybe like one turn of downtime. Plus, uh, if you're gonna run Bonnet Himiko, which a lot of people do, then that, um, that armor is doing a lot more for you there than rights as well. I just don't feel like enchanting one. Does have two turns of buff left up. Everybody pretty much just sitting. Corner. Cherry has glory of the world. Probably last rights. So Werner should not be able to really snipe her. Bolt Rangers probably have too much damage reduction. He can kill Rosin. As long as it's not Medring. HP does look a little low. So it could be Medring. I mean, but Rosin doesn't have good troops. She could be faking it. So Rosin looks like Werner's best sort of target. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The new, uh, the new healing effect accessory. That too. It could definitely be fixed immune. But could also. Well, that's the thing. She needs. She's not. Um. She's not holy. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Violet Star ignores that shit. <laughs> yeah. Rosin dead to Werner. That's who he wants to get. There's definitely no easy way to remove Juggler, though. But that's when Sherry can really go wild. Freeze is good. There's also no stun on juggler play either because of Rosin. Really showing that uh, first pick Rosin did actually shut down quite a bit of stuff Chung could do. Island Helena killed Broken Last Rites on juggler. I mean, it's Royal Knight. I don't think so. I know Helena attacks after her troops, so. I mean, the Highlands should be able to kill Stone Colossus, but it just seems tough. I mean, 
juggler's just pr I mean, he's just pretty bulky. Yeah, and once you do go in, Sherry's just gonna come in and kill you. Rosin is, uh, quite strong. Yeah, there's definitely one way to put it. Yeah, I need to add Sag. Yeah. So I guess it just has to be opening with Werner sniping Rosin. Did get a breeze this turn, so I'm I'm not gonna bother counting. I, I assume he reaches. God, I'm gonna. Yeah. Yes, he reaches. <laughs> I mean, even if she goes there, maybe he can't go this way. If, like, Raza moves straight up, I think he can't reach. Uh. I think he can only reach here. Because this is a mountain, this is a forest. He already uses one Mech Knight movement. Doesn't give himself a talent stack, so only ignores two. This is a forest, that costs three, and so yeah, he should only like reach right, right here. The Rosin could get out of range of Warner. Just has to go run somewhere around here. Although then Werner reaches next turn. Probably. Just have to mine the Sherry. Nothing else really to worry about on Tenkwa's side. Does Werner even kill without attack buff? I mean... It, it, he has to, right? <laughs> not like she's that... It's not like she's bulgy. Like, this looks easy. It's three stacks. It's, it should be fine. <laughs> should be fine. Pikmin probably responds to this with Miracle. Maybe it removes something annoying. I mean, Juggler didn't even have guard up, so nothing annoying there. Dig Clock. Looks Odious' attack buff. And Sherry reaches, but doesn't go in. Should've killed him ago, but no big deal. I mean, guard's not up, so... We'll see how much... Yeah, has to attack from there because he needs a grassland. It is? Yep, not enough to get through the Stone Colossus. The second hit, maybe? Hard for him to get the run up he needs. One, two, three, four, five, can't reach there. Um, yes, Helena does reach. Given Ellen's poor run up at the moment, he can only get he can't even get any run up with Unicorn Terrain right now. Which is unfortunate.
Okay, Helena kills. And this was the turn Crystal Healing was down. So an opportune time for Chung to engage. Difficult to remove Elwyn. Can take out... Yeah, they're, these are both immune to debuffs, so a stun play isn't good here. Werner does reach whatever he'd like. Cherry is... Jerry also reaches because of a breeze here. Also Werner talent anyway, so it definitely reaches. No matter what. So you probably don't want to move Oldius and Tiaris here. Because that enables the act again on Sherry. As long as you don't move those two, even if Sherry can reach, at best it's just with Shadow Raid. So that's okay. Then... Cherry can't do anything not healed up, so putting up healing with Rosin right now seems wise, although Himiko clocking is also pretty bad. Can also Himiko can also just push, and then that enables the act again play, although TRS could run away after that. Since Rosin can die immediately and Werner can potentially kill Sherry, probably you have to mass crystal kill with Rosin here, as Garsh might be able to survive some of this stuff, given that one can't run that well. I think mass crystal healing with Rosin is the move. Or, yeah, Oldius puts down tiles. And then prevents follow up. Because now Himiko can only reach here. Cherry can't run through anymore, and neither can Werner. Yeah, this is just all terrain, and, and he just can't move through it, so. Oh, it's Genius Staff Sherry. Okay. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> GG. Yeah, I guess Mass Crystal Heal with Rosin was the play. <laughs> had had to look at the attack a bit more there. That's my bad for missing that, because you can definitely, you can almost certainly tell just based off the attack. Well, I think it was like a 1300 attack Sherry, and then I looked at the other Sherry, and she was like 1340 attack. So I was like, it seems normal-ish. Maybe it's just God Enchanted. I know that's like how, I think that's how 80, 90% of attack genius staffs exist. People just god roll an attack genius staff and they're like, well fuck man, I, I, let me find something to do with this. The game knows, dog. Saber got his 15% plus 30 zap. Yeah, I, I know a lot of people with the exact same story. This is kind of funny. I mean, if you have spare genius staffs, fuck it, right? I didn't like Tenquin's box swap too much in game two. Felt like felt way too passive. Not enough DPS. Yeah, put putting back in Ham Verner and even taking it, putting it in Ares. I felt like it was really easy that game for Chung to be able to choke him out and get a good engage. Whereas in game one, Tenquin had stuff to zone or counter. Let's keep in the deedlet. 
which, I mean, she is okay in that. Yeah, fetching ham's wild. Ham's just so much pressure, and he just, he's almost always getting banned. So, it's not like he's ever a bad unit to have in your box, and especially if they're drawing bans in the first two rounds a lot of the time. This time, first man, Himiko. Felt like she was the problem there. And she certainly is very annoying. Especially if Chun continues to stick with... I do believe he's still first man Rosin last game, I could be wrong. I'm sticking with first man Rosin. And first pick, Epsilon. Annoying for this predominantly single target composition to deal with. There's pretty much just Lucretia, Ares, Burn, and Wedum. With Wedum not generally being used as an AoE unit, though it's certainly possible. Although with this few AoE components in the box, it's difficult to get a good AoE comp. Standing out Burner and Wedum. Standing out one of the biggest threats to Hilda and Wedum, just the heal reversal plus the buff strip's really annoying. Burner just banning out. Really the... One of, well, there's three assassins, or four assassins. Um, I can see how Kira doesn't have a buff, so she's not the most annoying thing. Sherry does, though so Sherry versus Burner. Sherry might have been a bit more annoying. So, turn point opting to just ban, straight ban the healers. You can see a D-Lit pick here, you can see Tiaras. Hero could work, and then double ban healer after that could be a bit threatening, especially if Chung goes more into the AoE side of things. Creation could just eat a black hole, can always devastate team comps. Kira. Burn's difficult to kill. Or is annoying. Kira's good range. Threatens several units left in Tanklin's box. Devlet. Kira herself. Burn potentially. Although Burn can be pretty safe. Burn doesn't like too much to be forced into infantry, although, yeah, he just doesn't like it that much. Kira and Luke also getting banned. Pretty surprised Chung bench Kruger after going for heal focused bans. Yeah, Kruger seemed to match the style. A lot less AoE in Chung's box now. That one just kind of removed all the AoE threats. Yeah, Kira and Luke. Luke has a revive, always annoying to deal with. Wedum. At this point, Chung definitely won't have a tank, so Wedum will pretty much have his pick. One thing that could happen is Sherry with goblins, and so Wedum probably wants to run gargoyles, and even then he still might die to Sherry if he's not Bracer. 
still he can usually get the first jump. Moving out Burner and Epsilon. I mean, again, no tanks on Chunk's side, so... Aries is still a good pick here. Sherry's probably the pick. Just good range, you can get double kills. Not threatened by this Werner at all. There's an Ellen getting banned. Ellen's a good good in these trade games, just with his second life, plus he buffs Sherry. Yeah, Sherry's just really threatening. Werner, uh, Werner and Epsilon are also kind of threatening to the single target composition that Chung's ended up with. But you can kind of just ignore Werner, I guess. And I, I feel like Werner is easier to deal with than Sherry would be with... Yeah, Werner is just easier to deal with. Just a lot easier. Then we have Dylan and Sherry for the last fix. Or d and Claret for the last fix. Claret just feels like she's not really doing anything. She could maybe get one hill to life, but... If this team is trying to go the route of busting through Hilda, this team is going... Chung's team is going to die before he gets through the Hilda or have lo lost too many units. I mean, Dilith's dead to Werner. Claret can open up Sherry double kill. Yeah. But there is Tiaris. I guess it's I guess it depends if healing light gets dispelled. Claret breaks guards, kill ham, kill Sherry. Yeah, Claret just going in with 3C. And then hoping it can make something happen. It's just that's not the best prospects. Hilda's going to have more than 10 buffs. And it's just 6 buff to spell. And if it doesn't work out, you basically just lose the Claret for nothing. We saw both game 1 and 2, Chung Yeats. Yeah, I'm, I'm just explaining the odds. <laughs> Spell both guard immunity, guard and immunity to stop guard. Yeah, Zerker's on Epsilon, high damage option. One black hole on Luke to open stuff up. Plus, um, pretty much bringing. Well, this is, I guess, it's for her and Werner. Yeah, her and Werner. Sherry did not opt for goblins. Not Bracer, wet him. has the option to play a bit slower, yeah. I mean, he did play slow game, too. Waited for Crystal Healing to wear off, engaged at an opportune time. Took 39 back of time to click the sand. Yeah, I think the opening turns are some of the most important. They dictate a lot of how much tile control both sides have. Claire, that's basically what you always do. True. True.
I'm just saying, taking time on your first turn is never a bad thing. Can also read on opponent's turn. Yeah, but I... You gotta do it all, man. You can think on your opponent's turn, too. Player 2 OP equal more time to read. Damn. That advantage, though. There's definitely a lot of games where I've been player two and I've, I plan out my entire opening on their turn and I just move instantly every time. Sometimes timer advantages can definitely win you games. Posture in a bit. Pepsi reaches here. Cherry didn't breeze. Help a song or what? Um, no, it's more Japanese. Probably like some shamisen in it or some shit. Yeah, I, th I think Apex has enough time. I do like Fair Arena's just minute per shit, too. I think that's good. I won't lie, I I've read out a backup time a fair amount myself, so... Cool player's just posturing, really. I mean, Warner has a setup time. Player has a turn of setup time too. Player reaches here, so not in range or anything. One nice thing about Lucas, she can always mass attack for free because this fun puppet just takes the cooldown. So, just pretty much always have it up. Again, for Chung, it's a game of zoning the sherry. Good old Steve. Tech was not particularly inclined to push up. Got the gospel, Sherry. Let's see, yeah, not Teddy Bear. Better rage to kill the werewolves, but I mean, think ham tanks. Press. Epsilon's buff is not great for Sherry, probably. Green skill, Sherry? Nothing else in her stuff gives her skill, right? So it's probably Overlord's badge. Oh, wait. Um, yeah, this is the genius staff, Sherry, right? Yeah, I should have I should have really uh, noticed this. <laughs> 1,300 attack. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, Ham has some pretty thick HP pool. I'm not sure these are maxed. Yeah, it's all about... Can I reach that? Sure. Yeah, she does. It's all about this... Claret. Okay, poking... Black hole. Does a shit ton of damage to those werewolves. Because she's holy. And Bufflock is quite nice. Uh, it's max, okay. Thank you. Yeah, heal block on Tiaris is also scary. She did bring mass heal. That is just one debuff, so it might miss that, but... I mean, there's no other AoE on the team, so... It's not a big deal. Nothing else really in range, either. But, it's relatively free, and I mean, the buff block on Ham makes it so he can't really go in. That'd be just a waste, right? You don't really want Ham to just go in and do that. Ham just dies for it. Letting Luke do it for free is probably just the right choice. Then you just pull down her. Nobody else cares, like, you can reach. Maybe some will yeah. Heal block would never happen on Hilda. Yeah. Oh, what is the Night Bloom Tiaras? Damn. Twilight Star actually uh, ticking the Sherry back up to 100% HP. An interesting case of where Twilight non Twilight Star Epsi would score a kill that Twilight Star <laughs> didn't. Oh, heal would still happen, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm saying, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, um... Epsilon tries to kill Sherry and fails. And Ham just counter kills the Epsilon. And now it looks really tough for Chuck. Can try to kill him with Lucretia? Probably the best bet. But she does have an attack buff. Jerry does probably just go in and kill Luke. After that, you can just double hit. Yeah, no DR from Sword. Then Sherry scores the kill. Epsilon without stack sucks. Yeah, it, it's just risky to begin with. Epsilon's more of that kind of unit you bring out in Endgame. After he has some stacks up. Jerry takes the kill instead of Luke. 
Or Claret, Jesus. Uh, now... You kill the other Sherry? Nope, kills the Claret. If Chung brought Firebrands and this Sherry couldn't do that, she'd have to kill the Luke. But now there's nothing that can... Nothing that can reach Sherry. I mean, Warner can, but Warner is not killing. And that's a two for one. Sherry passed the seal for two turns. Lost her faction buff. Does have mass attack. But she also got a kill, or... Tenquin Sherry got a kill with 3C. So the cooldown is very low. And Werner just barely misses the kill. He maybe with one more stack he would have done it. It would have been close. Would have been closer, potentially. Yeah, Rip Warner. Sherry just moving up, but... I mean, even if you stun and kill the other Sherry, you still probably lose that endgame. Tenquin has a lot more capital. The issue is Sherry just can't reach because the passive seal from Wedham. By the time she can reach, she'll have to drop her attack buff on the next turn. can get out of here in defense stance. That's what you have to do, basically. Otherwise, Werner just dies for nothing. Sherry... Now she just kills Luke, right? But then she would die to Sherry for that. Yeah, I mean, there's. I'm thinking it out. There's like some potential crazy end game of Sherry versus Hilda Tiaris, because Werner could kill Deedlet if you trade Sherry for Luke here. And yeah, plus it is genius Sherry. You know that too. And manipulate turns with sword. Pretty nice. Yeah, if Sherry kills Luke here, then Sherry kills Sherry, and then Werner eventually can kill this Deedlet, and then it's Hilda Tiaris for Sherry. They probably can't kill the Sherry. That did nothing, and you can't act again there. Yeah, well, this Sherry doesn't have Act Again up, but, I mean, Deedlet punches, then Sherry punches. I mean, there wasn't really a better play anyway. Yeah, that was just the... quite kill Hilda without 3C. Really needs those debuffs up, or free strike.
I don't think I've seen three seamers still. Um, angels. Yeah, I probably could have brought something else. Dragoons, something like that. Yeah. There's nothing Chunk can do. I mean, he can kill Dealit here, probably. That's sad. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's just, that's, that's, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> so yeah, um... Yeah, GG. That's what I had to say. Yeah, congratulations to Ted Quinn for advancing to the round of 16. And better luck next time to Chung.